All right, everybody, welcome back for another DPL match for week one of the DPL between Wigglytuff Skilled and Legion of Boom. This time we have a Scarlet and Violet game between Burger and Slick. It is now 3-2 in our favor, and we're trying to clutch out the series. This is a series of eight games, if you're unfamiliar with the DPL's format. And if you go five and three or better, you end up with a win, three or five or worse, you end up with a loss, and four and four is actually a draw. This is the first time we're implementing draws as a system into the DPL format, but uh, yeah, this is game six, and as you can see, we have a Terra Ogre Pond team against another Terra Ogre Pond team. So we are actually Terra Ogre Pond and Terra Deancey. Their, I think, solo Terra is the Ogre Pond. Oh no, it's Rotom as well. Yeah, it's it's Ogre Pond and Rotom. You can see it on, on the screen, actually. I forgot that we have that on the layout. Going into this matchup, we were very scared of Terra Ogre Pond. It is quite good into us. We don't have a great grass switch in. Fortress is a fake grass switch in, as it pretty much just allows in the rest of the team as you can see the entirety of the rest of slick's team knocks out <laughs> fortress very easily uh, be it hydro pump mystical fire shadow ball flamethrower from garchomp etc it goes on and on we we kind of expected the top six here but let's see how this played out so we're gonna lead our ogre pawn into theirs we're just gonna go for a u-turn i believe as they tear a grass immediately go for an ivy cudgel and knock us out so we were actually scared of Choice Band specifically, but uh, we EV'd our Ogre Pond in a way where it would live sometimes, not always, unfortunately. So uh, we don't get the roll there and uh, their Ivy Cudgel knocks us out. Uh, but now this allows us to position with Iron Jugulus and we go for a uh, Dark Pulse here and their Rotom takes 44%. They go for a Volt Switch. I think we just go for another Dark Pulse here uh, into the Garchomp and it takes 62 uh, and then goes for Endure as we go for another Dark Pulse. It eats the hit uh, and then gets Custap Berry as we switch it out into Yuxi on Stealth Rocks. And uh, then it goes for Outrage and we're going to go for a U-turn here. And uh, take some rocky uh, or some rough skin chip, actually. Excuse me. Cinderace comes in. Rotom comes in. Uh, we go back to Garchomp here. Uh, not back. First time. And Garchomp is going to take a uh, Hydro Pump this turn. And Hatterene's going to switch in as we go for a Scale Shot. as our only way to hit the, uh, the Rotom, really. And, and now we're going to switch out into Ace as we catch a Psychic. We take 53%. It's pretty offensive on the... Um, on the Hatterene, we go for a Pyro Ball, and the Petrant comes in, we go for a U-turn. Uh, and as you can probably guess at this point, we were not core change on the Cinderace, so we were not able to get rid of Stealth Rocks. Uh, but Jug is going to come in, take a Malignant Chain, and die here this turn. Uh, and now we are going to go into Yuxi uh, and threaten a Psychic move, obviously. But Hatterene's going to switch in as we go for a Light Screen. So we're actually screens on this team. We go for Light Screen into Reflect. Uh, there's a Dazzling Gleam, and I believe we go for a U-turn this turn. Rotom comes in, and uh, our Ace switches in, and Rotom goes for Volt Switch and reveals to be faster than our Cinderace, so it's Choice Scarfed. So now we know that. Uh, and Petrarant's gonna switch in on Ace, we go for a U-turn, and right here, this is where I think uh, Burger was playing a little bit too quickly. So, uh, we end up going into Deancey, and as you can see, we did not terrestrialize our Ogre Pawn which means we are going to be terrestrializing our Deancey, which is Terra Steel, which looks quite good here. Um, however, we now know that the Rotom is Choice Scarfed, and we end up going for a Rock Polish this turn as Rotom switches in. We Terra Steel, we go for Rock Polish, and we stay in. And we catch a trick. And our weakness policy transfers to the Rotom, and we end up with a Choice Scarf. Now, don't get me wrong, Choice Scarf Power Gem looks pretty solid, but it doesn't win the game. And we had a really good set to just win the game here, uh, and Burger decided to set up with the Deancey, knowing full well that the Rotom was Choice Scarfed, uh, and he could have brought in Garchomp on the Petrant right here. Uh, yeah, so Volt Switch comes out, U-Turn comes out, Petrant comes in, and I believe that Garchomp was completely free here. Now, I get it. You have your screens up. You want to immediately go in with, your, like, your endgame sweeper. But, like, Garchomp was was so free here, man. <laughs> it was just so free. Uh, and I think that this was a little bit forced, a little bit rushed. Uh, and I think that this, this is something that Burger regretted and has analyzed and has realized that... Uh, he needs to be a little bit more patient with his play. Yes, he was losing the game uh, and he had to do something about it, 
but I don't think it was immediately forced to go into Deancey. But anyway, as you can see, Rotom's going to trick us. We're going to go for a power gem here on the following turn, and then Scizor is going to come in, and Scizor takes a power gem, but ends up being close combat, which we did know was a very good possibility, hence why we had the weakness policy to begin with. Uh, and then the uh, Scizor is going to switch out as we power gem the... Um, the Ogre Pond, and that still doesn't do enough damage. Wood Hammer's going to knock us out because it's Choice Bandit. It's going to take a little bit of recoil. Uh, but now this is pretty much unrecoverable. Uh, this just clicks Wood Hammer on the entire team. It has the, the speed boost from the Terra, so it's faster than our Ace, which is, of course, Boots. As you see, we're not taking any damage. Go for a Sucker Punch. It lives on 1%. Uh, Would have been nice to, to maybe try to clean the game with Garchomp, but I don't think it was ever going to get there. Uh, and as you can see from, from the damage from EQ right here. Uh, actually, no, we end up going for Swords Dance, but yeah, Dazzling Gleam's going to knock us out and that's just going to be the end of the game as you can see we had sd on garchomp we could have easily gone for that on the petrarunt obviously malignant chain is a possibility that turn there's a lot of different things that can happen there uh, but i think that uh, going into garchomp instead of going into deancey was the correct play uh, of course we live and we learn but now the series score is 3-3 so things are getting quite close we have two games left both of our ultra sun and ultra moon games including my own so you're going to see pyro tomorrow and you're going to see my game uh, Pyronox, of course, uh, piloting one of our awesome teams and me piloting the other. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, so that you don't miss tomorrow's games uh, because they are very good games and you're not going to want to miss the series result to see, to see how we ended the week. You're going to want to check that out. So make sure to subscribe, like the video, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.